to Chibet McKenna's YouTube video. Today is me. I'm starting this vlog today. We it is Sunday. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Six. We made it to the half. We made it halfway there. What a woman. What a woman. So we are going to the good vibes only. Where did he say? Where did he say? Alright, we are going for we go A. Where are we going? We are going to the Good Vibes Only picnic hosted by Sue. Sue of Sue Watches. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward. It's also like, like a nice Sunday afternoon plan. Excited? Yes, yeah, so we're just from church. Yeah, because we're just from <laughs> church girls. We're the church So, what day. she didn't tell you <laughs> is that. Mm -hmm. Close the window. What she didn't tell you, and the AC is on, I hope it's not too noisy, is that she came to our house last night. So we I was kidnapped, guys, yeah, kidnapped out of my party. own wheel. Oh, <laughs> out of your own wheel. Out of my own wheel. Yeah, so we kidnapped her, and Angalia just just kagari kongalia what they're doing to it. But <laughs> we kidnapped her last night, so we were getting to the house at like midnight. Midnight. Let I was sleeping at like guys, 2 a.m. When I, when I tell you I was sleeping in church. Yeah. <gasps> We're all struggling today. I won't even lie. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. The sun's out. Um, I was going to say legs out, but that's a lie. That's a lie. But it's a beautiful day. I came with the sunshine. We thank the Lord. Yes, <laughs> you did. <laughs> yes, right. you did. So we'll maybe queue in like a time lapse over here. Yeah. And we'll see you Let's as go. We go. Giving, you look cute. Yes. <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> One minute. Does that make sense? Mm. Somewhere. Maybe. This is... Maybe here. Is it?
Hey. Hi. Where are we? We are at Manzoni. 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 What? what are we here to do? We are here to do Hey guys, so it's Monday. Um, and the activity of this week brought us to Manzoni Lodge. We are here for swimming. We wanted to go to Small World, but we realized that we have been to Small World. One. Two, I realized the pool at Small World might be smaller because it usually has just it's, um, a, it's more of a chill pool. Eh, it's not a swimming pool, so yeah. here we are. so much in this vlog but last we spoke i think was yesterday when we had gone for swimming the previous day we went for the picnic we also didn't talk much but you guys understood what was going on i hope you guys have been enjoying uh this car conversations that we've been having and i want to ambush ethan yeah you say conversations i want to ambush ethan to give us something you to talk to about ambush. how do you say ambush huh? ambush, ambush. What did I say? Ambush. I need to ambush. I want that? to ambush Ethan. So today is Madaraka Day. Ah, oops. Jamuhuri Day. Day. It's the 12th of December. It's Tuesday. And we are going to celebrate our sister, Brian's wife. Yeah, so that's our sister. It was her birthday yesterday. Uh, so, but we're first going to the studio to drop off the camera. I hope you're thinking, by the way. About what to talk about yeah because like, i'm just supposed to talk about something random not random like 
just the way we came up with the conversation. So we're going to the studio to drop off the camera. We have some things there, baby, big at it, babe. Guys, we went to China Square. Okay, I'm saying a lot of things. Let me finish first. We're going to Ivy's birthday. So we want to go to City Market and get her some flowers and then go. Uh, but we're first going to the studio because we have the camera here with us because we had an event on Saturday that we were shooting. So the other thing I was saying was that we actually did go to China Square. China Center? China Square. China. But it, we are not, like, it was Elika Plan, yeah. It wasn't planned. Um, yeah, so we were we happened to be on those sides of Karen and we decided to go and check out China Square. It was I feel like I CJ experienced Sana, but we got some few things that are in that Christmas box. Um I wish I picked up the camera because I, I didn't pick up the camera because I was like because I was like that guy gave you eyes. Yeah, so anyway I didn't pick up the camera because I was like ah, we're not even buying much. But you know, we ended up actually quite experiencing a bit of it. So we'll give Ethan some time to think as we are headed to the studio and then I'll be back here. If not, then you know that Ethan, let us down. <laughs> so, plug you guys on this creepy. These things are the bomb.com. Like, if you've never tried these creeps, these ones, please go and get them and then we, you come, we have a conversation. Because Zina Donjo Kudonjo. They are very good. And they have different flavors. This is my favorite, and then the tomato one next. Which one is that? Ethan's favorite is chili lemon. This is what I want to snack on as we are on our way. Yes. Are we live? Are we live? We are back because Ethan did not let us down. And he said, because I ambushed him, he's going to ambush me also with what we are talking about. So let's hear it. Yeah, so uh, this is something I find myself uh, thinking about mm -hmm. um, from time to time. Uh -huh. uh, but I want to ask you and I want to ask every other lady that's going to be watching this mm -hmm. is what, what do you, what are those things that you do? Mm -hmm. um, what are those things that you do that you consider mm -hmm. spoiling your man? Because uh, for for a guy, this this is some of the things. It's it's like an obvious, unexpected, uncommunicated thing. Uh, on, I need to spoil my lady. I need to, or rather, I want. To, this just it's not about needing, but because uh, the issue is not about needing to spoil your person. Mm -hmm. the, the conversation I want to talk about is, what does it look like to you to spoil me? And me for, now. Yeah, and for ladies. For the ladies watching this, um, what does it look like spoiling your man? Or if you're single, what would you do uh, to spoil your man? You know. So, babe, you when you're thinking about spoiling me, what are some of the things you think of? What do you like to be done not to me? Anyway. You see, that's what I am. I'm just joking. So, for me, um, if I was super super rich. I would buy you anything you want. You know, like how you say, I want a PS. I mean, a PS is not something I can go to town and get. I don't have that capacity right now. So, um, what does it look like, actually? It looks like making a good meal for you. A meal that you really like. Um, so, not the kawaida, like, not kawaida dinner, because that's not, that's part of the job, quote unquote. But um, yeah, maybe cooking a good meal for you or or suggesting for us to go somewhere. And when I'm putting suggesting is because for Ethan, um, you can't just say, Ati, let me take you somewhere and it's a surprise. It doesn't work like that in his life. So you have to, he has to know and anticipate. So whether it's watching a movie, going to Karuna, which you really like. Sometimes it looks like doing your nails. I would cut his nails and then do like clear polish that he also like really enjoys and I feel like it's it can be or it is as well um, yeah I would definitely want to do more and unfortunately I don't know whether it's unfortunate but spoiling needs money it's true. do you think so? I, agree. I think spoiling needs money so um, but 
there's some activities like for example like you doing my nails mm -hmm. uh, so some of those things that look like spoiling me yeah uh, i think okay. maybe one of the things that i would like to see happen is because to be honest babe i think i would actually be open for if you say let's go somewhere and i wasn't spending a dime so the limit on the side is that my cash flow is more consistent than yours. So the most most of the times, yours will come in a bulk in like a whole like after a while. Get yeah. mine is more consistent. So the consistency of you spoiling me in terms of money is a bit scarce. Um, but I wanted to say something. I am a kumbuka. So what I wanted to say was. Uh, one thing that I don't know if many ladies are aware of uh -huh. is as much as you're always thinking that I would like my hair, because when you're listening to a lot of videos uh -huh. uh, or a lot of audios, ladies talking about like men, like my men to just spoil me, or like my men to do this, my men to do this. But one of the things that would, but then this is actually a trick. way to go about it. Tip. A tip. That's the, that's the one. If you want to have your man spoil you even more often. Spoil. Spoiling. So what does spoiling look It doesn't spoiling? have to be wait first. It doesn't have to be as many times as he spoils you. But once in a while just spoil him. For example, uh, tell him uh, like for example I'll say uh, you know I've been really wanting to get a massage to say babe here's some cash go and get a massage or it could be as as simple as even sometimes we came after Kogan maybe we came after Kogan if I can look in on this game I can't if he's into gaming like I am buy him a game And sometimes it's even in the smallest of things. If your man realizes that you think of him as much as he thinks of you, he will even feel he won't feel anything when it comes to spoiling. It won't be even a second thought. So yeah, that's what I was thinking about. get my flowers is right there his name right there at the corner of city market his name is Dismas but um yeah so I got this for the birthday girl had them wrapped in a ribbon let me show you what I got for my house and this is the bouquet that I got for myself yeah I've never gotten anything like this so I thought it was nice to just Try it out. What's keeping some of the 